And Joe Castiglione, the AD, has punched the right buttons as OU's athletic director. Enough time to win lots of national championships and hire lots of Hall of Fame coaches. Last night, he surprised most everyone, announcing a statue of his elite softball coach, Patty Gasso, will be unveiled next year. When are we going to dedicate a statue for Patty Gasso? Y'all, we do things, we try to keep it secret for a while, but you just won't let us keep a secret. So tonight, I'm just breaking it out. We're going to have a statue for Coach Gasso next year. And Joe C. was talking about that lady. We have another one that we might have a player, Kenzie Hansen, put uh, into a statue at some point. But right now, it's the coach's turn. Were you surprised, Patty? I was floored. Had no idea. We were just celebrating and... Uh, just came. I wasn't expecting it. I was listening, but kind of paying attention to the crowd. And when I heard that, I just, um, oh, I had no idea and quite an unbelievable honor, really. I want to start with, I, I, I thought the best soundbite after it was all said and done was when you came out and said, I was exhausted. This was just a mental grind. Can you comment on that? And I want to know about you guys, and maybe you can answer this first. Did you know that it was that exhausting, and was it for you at the same time? The absolutely. streak and the pressure. Yes, absolutely. I know that uh, we had a lot, several team conversations with the coaches about just the expectations and the pressure that was placed upon us, not only by each other and within ourselves, because as competitors, that's something that you have within yourself, but also from the outside world and being able to navigate that, you know, with each other and united as well as with the coaches is something that we work very hard on and it ended up paying off for us. Kinsey, if you if you want to see someone who's been successful from the very beginning, and life's not perfect, you've you've had some setbacks, we all mm -hmm. do, but from the time this girl was 10 years old, just look back at her history, it's unbelievable. Patty, I gotta ask you, when did you start <coughs> recruiting out in Norco, California? Because this girl was a stud way back when. Well, way back when, we were able to start recruiting eighth graders, and I remember watching Kinsey behind the plate, and she was much taller than everyone else, and just mm -hmm. was made to be a catcher and watched her and her leadership was something that really stuck out to me and her arm was tremendously strong and just her ability to lead it really really attracted me and I I kind of followed them around she knows mm -hmm. I got to know her her brother was hanging around a little bit so I I would watch him from afar playing with all the other kids on her team you know her their siblings and um, just followed Kinsey and some other kids on that team, but that was one I knew I really had to work hard to go get this one. Um, Patty, I asked you right after the game, best team ever, and you kind of waffled, and then you said, yeah, I think so. <laughs> but isn't the bottom line at the end of the day, the bottom line, and that was a 61, I mean, you didn't lose but one game. Yeah, and I think they could all look back. They remember the wins, but they remember that loss, and that oh, changed our world. So. Um, I'm going to say like it was such a really complete team. It, it just really was an exceptional team from top to bottom and people on the bench, when I bring them in, they execute. Pitching staff loaded. Like I, I just don't know. If we had any weakness, it might have been our speed. But <laughs> when you're hitting balls over the fence or off the, the wall, I didn't know that means so much. But uh, defense was just exceptional. It was just a complete, athletic, exceptional team. Patty, it sounds like the criticism, the people that, that are just unhappy people out there that are looking for something, uh, that, that thought you celebrated too much and, and didn't like you winning as much. And it really got me when I started hearing that a lot of the, some of the reporters from out of state thinking Patty Gassoff, she's not really, is she a good lady or not? Do you, do, do, did you take this stuff to the team or no. did you try to fly above it? Fly above it because they don't deserve my attention or the team's attention. They don't. Um, the one thing that I know is um, when this team celebrates, it's real. And the word we use was unapologetic. And I think I said it one time and it just went everywhere, yeah. that word. But that is the truth. They enjoy, they love an O2 battle that turns into a walk. It's a big deal and it's something that we know at practice. Everything that you see 
we've worked on it practice. So when it shows in a game, it's a celebration. And when somebody lays down a bunt, moves a runner in scoring position, that's a big deal for us. That's a celebration. A ball off the wall when we're down by a run uh, to tie the game is a celebration. The, it's not fake, it's real emotion. And you see it all over sport in male, on all male sports. Why would it be so uh, discerning for anyone to see a female do it? I don't know and I don't care because they have a blast. I have a blast, Sooner fans have a blast, and that's about all we care about. I, I am blessed beyond all measure yeah. with um, just great young women, girls who turned into women who are representing the sport and taking it to new heights through their faith, through their, you know, their this, their passion for the game makes it fun to watch. People are tuning in because we can stay in that two hour, 15 minute window. And there's a lot of sounds, you know, girls have been cheering since they've been in T-ball <laughs> and they're in college and they're still cheering and they're passionate and it's fun and it's fast. And these are elite athletes. These are elite athletes. And I am blessed to see it every single day. It's, it's a blast. And oh, by the way, she's hitting the recruiting trail, so it is almost 365. Ladies, congratulations. You've taken the, the city, the state, the, the country in large part uh, by storm, and uh, you're to be commended. Thank you very much. And thanks much. for coming. Thank you. Of course, thanks.